Hello again, it's Dr. Pineset, the Premier Productivity Expert, answering one of your questions again. Guys, I'm here to answer your questions, put your comments in the box, get real answers, not the rest of the BS that you see on YouTube and on the internet. These are real vetted answers from a real life expert who's been to Stanford Medical School, who's helped other people get to Stanford Medical School and Ivy League schools. This is what I do, it's not a hobby, it's not tricks and games for me to get on YouTube. This is real, this is about helping people, especially underrepresented and disadvantaged, if that is you, shout it out, like this video right now, tell another minority in medicine they can be here. This is, I'm here for you, I want you to see yourself in me and you getting to medicine, so don't be shy to reach out. All right, tonight, like I said, I'm answering one of your questions. This is a question from a student who's in a post back program currently. And this student's question is, they're doing well in biology, they have an A in that class. They're not doing well in molecular biology and they were wondering what tips I had for doing well in molecular biology. And this question in itself is not a great question, but it leads me to think about a larger question. And that's that students often do well in a biology class or a chemistry class. And then they struggle in a biochemistry or a organic chemistry, right? Or they do well in chemistry 1A, but they struggle in 1B. And they don't see the link in the two. And they don't see how they could do well in one and not do well in the other, despite putting in lots of time. And I want to point out to people, it's easy to do well in classes where you have familiarity. And what I mean by that is when you take a biology class, everyone took biology in junior high, everyone took biology in high school, and then now you're essentially repeating it with add-ons in college. So when you go into a biology class, of course you can perform well because you've had exposure to the material before. So it doesn't require you putting in the same amount of hours or the same tactical thinking about the material to understand it. When you go into a higher level class, something where you've never experienced before, there's lots of new concepts, it takes a different approach. It takes real study strategies, real study skills, ways that you take your studying and you shrink the amount of hours you need to do to effectively get to the material because you're gonna need a more in-depth approach and a way to get to that knowledge that you don't need in a basic biology class because you already have enough experience with it where it doesn't matter how you study because you're gonna understand it regardless. But when it comes to those higher level classes, you have to have actual real live functional study skills to get to the material. How do you approach a class? How do you then take that material, right? And really solidify it in your brain and have a complex understanding of it. So what I would say to students out there who find themselves struggling as they're moving through their college journey, it's not that the subject, it's not the subject specific. And that's where people miss the boat and they go to tutors, like that's gonna help them. Yeah, that's great. But if you need a tutor every quarter, it means your study skills are not sharp. If classes are getting harder for you as you go and you're not able to keep up, it's because your study skills are not where they need to be. So you need to actively work on your study skills. And if you've watched my videos, if you've talked to me, the number one thing you need to do if you want to be successful as a student, as a pre-med, as a doctor, as whatever, is you need to learn how to learn. You need to learn how to study by studying, studying. And if you're not spending time doing that, you're not gonna be able to perform at the level you want to perform at to get to the school you wanna to get to. So every day, take a couple of minutes and analyze your studying, read about studying, watch one of my videos, and figure out how you can be a better student. Because that's the difference, right? Anyone can do well in a basic biology class, but molecular biology, ooh, that's new stuff. These molecules, and now we're at a really finite level, microscopic, how do I, oh, I don't know what's going on. Well, when you're in all that chaos, the thing that's going to save you and make that chaos, right, organized chaos, is your study skills. So devote time to becoming a professional student because it's going to serve you well not only in your undergrad, but when you get to medical school, you'll be able to handle the material much better. I mean, people say that medical school is like drinking from a fire hose, but for me, it wasn't that bad because I had great study skills and with great study skills and with having used these study skills in the past to get really good grades and, and breeze through classes, I had the confidence to know that even when it felt like I couldn't get through a class or like a class was difficult or I got a bad grade, I knew that I could make it up by putting in more time and being more effective with my studying. So I had the mechanisms to do that. So that's how I would answer that question. That's for any student out there. If you want to be, if you're struggling at all, the number one answer, the reason you're struggling is your study skills aren't where you need it to be, right? 
or you're not putting enough time. And you know, if you're putting in four hours a day, if you're putting in, that's plenty of time. So the problem is that your time isn't being maximized by having the tactics and the strategies necessary to do what you need to do. So stay tuned to my YouTube channel. I have lots of studying stuff on there. Um, I've mentioned in some of my other videos, and if this is your first video watching me, I have courses. These are high level courses that teach you specific actionable things that will help you along your student journey. And one of my courses that I'm gonna be coming out with is a study course where I break down how to be a better studier. I also have one on being more effective with the use of your time, which can kind of go hand in hand with that, right? Creating more time and then with that free time, making the most of it with great study skills. So check those out. My website's dominatepremed.com for my courses. I also have a free course on there right now you can check out. It's from the bottom of the pre-med pack, Stanford Medical School, 21 days. It's an awesome course giving you the foundational skills you need to really progress in your journey. It really helped me get to Stanford Medical School, so I'm gonna share that with you. It's absolutely free. The link is in the box. It's also in the comments. And as always, guys, if you like this stuff, I do this for you. Comment in the box. Let me know you like it. Let me know it's you're enjoying it. Let me know you're imp it's impacting you, right? And share it with other people so I can impact them as well, right? You don't need to hoard this information. Share this. I'm out here to make a difference. So thank you guys very much for tuning in. It's Andre Pineset signing out.